almost every part of business has been re-engineered to date, whether it's marketing, whether it's supply chain, whether it's uh, you know distribution. The one area of global business that really hasn't been re-engineered today is holistic 360 degree talent management. And what you find are companies that are the most successful today are putting talent, people, at the center of their proposition. Part of it is driven because it does come down to the fact that if you do put talent at the center of your proposition, if you do put your people first, if you are constantly thinking about your people and what motivates them, what makes them happy, what makes your culture thrive, you will be more successful. The second big issue that we heard was the need to hire for cultural fit versus hiring for skills. And that's a big shift and actually was quite quite surprising for us. We would have thought that you'd find industries that were hiring to fill specific skills-based positions were in fact, and, and obviously we need to do that, companies need to do that, but a big theme that we heard was if people don't fit in, that's going to have a greater impact, not just on their performance, but on the overall culture and therefore on the company. And for and so, us, understanding employee engagement is critical because, as you know, being a you know, key leading practitioner in the space, companies that have higher employee engagement have uh, a, a higher delivery on return on shareholder value. And it's for all of the natural reasons. You have happier employees who are doing better, who are learning and growing, and are therefore more engaged in, in, their, in their actions, in their work. The interesting thing with millennials is, you know, and we talk a bit about this and we found this in the research, is that it is, it's not just a generation, it's a mindset. So, you know, there's plenty of people that I work with, that we work with, that are not millennials by age uh, at all, but they have that mindset. They have that mindset of curiosity. They have that mindset of uh, entrepreneurialism. You know, less there's a bit of a taint of millennials of having a, a mindset of entitlement. There's a little bit of that. I think that that might be more demographic than than actually this this broader mindset. So I think I think what companies need to recognize is that what millennials bring to the table is just a, a, a sheer passion and entrepreneurialism for. The task monitoring it, but realizing that people are going to leave, and by bringing in fresh thinking, it's a good thing. And also, when people leave, recognize that there's a very good chance that they'll come back. And when they come back, they will have collected different, better, unique experiences that they're bringing back and making the company better itself. But when you look at recruitment, I think across industries, the number one thing that companies need to do is show that they're not hiring you to fill a job they are giving you an opportunity to grow. And in the end of the day, everyone needs to have the opportunity to grow. Everyone needs to have the opportunity for continuous learning. So whether you're coming into a company as a you know, 22 year old, you know, fresh graduate from a, you know, any university around the world, or you're coming in as a 40 something or a 50 something who's made some, you know, whether it's career change or stayed in the same career, Everyone needs to have that opportunity to grow, and that's more and more important to people today at all life stages. You clearly have to do is hire Havas people, uh, because that would put you on your path towards seeing the talent utopia, the employer brand. You know, if a company hasn't worked to define the vision, the values of the company, uh, you know, worked to put kind of cultural initiatives in place, that's the most important place to start because until that's formed, and it's never fully formed, I mean, culture is, is moving. There's a great quote from the book, someone that we interviewed says, culture is what's happening when no one's looking. But culture is something that has to be constantly managed, you know, just like the creation of ideas or just like the creation of you know, products. It's not something that you can just you know, put the values on the wall and think that culture is done. If you're not actively managing your culture, it will start to manage itself. And that's good in a way that you want it to be organic. That would be the, the positive side, but that still needs some kind of you know, governorship. Uh, but the flip side of that is if it's left to kind of you know, manage itself, seldom does it manage itself well.